You are listening to Up from the Ground, a podcast by Sam Stories. I'm your host Sukanya, bringing to you stories that you might have probably heard but deserves to be retold. In today's episode, we talk about the Assamese official language edition of the 1960s. This is the second part of the language series Struggle for Your Own Tongue. Thank you for tuning in. At the stroke of midnight when India gained independence, Assam did become a part of India, but the colonial hangover was yet to go. The struggle of Assamese becoming an official language was yet to come, a struggle that still continues. Bengali along with Assamese were official languages post independence in Assam, which can be considered a hangover of the policies of the British. The State's Reorganization Act of 1956 and the 51 Census did surely change perspectives. According to the Census of 1951, of the 80 lakhs population, 45 lakhs spoke Assamese and 13 lakhs spoke Bengali. This was 56% of the population. This was when the influx of Bengali speakers had already changed the demographics. With the constitution coming into force in 1950 and the inclusion of Assamese as one of the languages in the age schedule, the demand of Assamese being declared as the official language of Assam gained new momentum. The Ahom Haito Habha passed two resolutions, 1950 and 1959, and stressed the need to make Assamese the official language in Assam. Assam Pradesh Congress Committee also passed a resolution supporting this on April 22, 1960. In 1959, the then CM of Assam, Bimola Prasad Soliha, on the instructions of Government of India, did take a step forward towards making Assamese the official language. However, he retracted after the Bengali speakers of Kassar rejected the plan. A major movement was building up spearheaded by the student community comprising the All Assam Students Federations and Student Associations of Guwahati. They witnessed massive support from the civil society of Assam. The movement with the students in the fall was seen in the processions, strikes and meetings. There were a few reported incidents of police action, but the killing of Ranjit Borpujari on a veranda of Cotton College on 4th of July 1960 marked a major date in history. Meanwhile, situations weren't peaceful in Barak Valley either. On 19 May 1960, a public rally turned violent and 11 protesters fell to bullets. They became the martyrs of Bhasha Dibosh. As incidents of violence and police brutality were reported from parts of Assam, the rift between the Assamese and Bengali was evident. Two cultural icons of the two valleys, Bhupen Hazorika and Hemango Biswas, toured the state singing songs of unity. Assamese did become the official language in select districts of Assam eventually. Bengali became the official language in the Barak Valley. As per provisions, English was made the official language in the autonomous districts. Language still continues to be a topic of debate and discussions and with the changing demographics, it has come to the forefront. That's all for today's episode. Thank you all for listening. We look forward to your suggestions and criticisms. Write to us at storiesassam at gmail.com. This episode is available on all major podcast platforms including Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts and also YouTube. To like, share and subscribe, connect to us on Twitter at Assam Stories and Instagram at stories.assam. Tune in every Friday for new episodes. Have a great week.